Hello everyone, again, Kuringa here, and today I'm bringing you another uh, subject about state measurement, right? Uh, I'm bringing the same idea of a notifier with the state pattern, but the difference here is that we are using two abstractions for this. So let's understand first about the flutter triple, right? Uh, what is the flutter triple here? The flutter triple, it's... Uh, state measurement that use val notifier to deal with the states and the rx notifier behind to deal with the states with uh, a better idea if you remember block works using the um, strings uh, behind right and here in the filter triple we are not using uh, strings we are using the val notifier normal so how how this works uh, I'm, I'm showing the same example, if you remember, in our last class, we have the, the class home star extended for valid fire, and here we have, for example, our state, home state, right? That's it, the simple. And, okay, what is the difference here? We can see here, the first, we have a possible possible exception, right? And you have our value that went to update or, or change, uh, etc. So, let's understand first about the notifier store, how this works. We can receive an error that becomes an object, right? And we have the X state, normal, normal, normal. And okay, if you see inside of here, we have value list enable, state error, and the select if it's loading or not. And here is just an example that is the abstraction that I'm talking about. The, the error X notifier, it's the same as value notifier, but the only difference is it's a small abstraction to we not need not need to deal with the val list enable builder for example only the rex uh not fire builder if i remember and yeah that's it so how works this uh the triple state in that case it's very simple we don't have uh we don't have a big complexity here right because for example we don't have the the state inside right uh, sorry we don't have the events inside we have only the update the update uh will change our value without any any confusion so for example it's loading so we are doing the set loading as true and when the loading uh, uh becomes uh to the end so the loading becomes false right and we have a, a classic set error that we have an ex exception so let's understand first, uh, before I click on the button, let's go our app widget. Let's, oh, sorry, not here, the home uh, page. Yeah, that's here. Oops, we have a lot of picture to change here. Let's do some uh, small changes. Okay, that's here, the modular. Oops, store, modular, not yet. Yeah, uh, okay, better now. Okay, now let's understand about the Using the the triple, we have the scoped builder, right? Will be the same the same idea of our val notifier builder, for example. But in that case, the the scoped builder force us to have on state and on error, right? And for example, if you have uh, some some loading, we have the on loading, right? Uh, it's normal. We can return a center end. Let's check center and child a cent circular progress indicator. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Uh, so how works this? Let's understand first the on state. When I when I tap the button, when I tap this this button here, we are calling the store dot increment. It's a function. Okay, that's 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 good. And we are putting the set loading as true. So now I have a loading, right? That's it. And we have a future delay, the classic future delay. Uh, let's think that I'm getting the, the value from other values here from the, the real API. And how it's work. If I, I click here with a small loading and I click again, three, okay, one more, four. And here we have the set error. We have our exception. So here we are calling on, on error, right? So if you see, it's the same idea of block. It's the same idea of block. But the only difference here is that we are not using strings behind. We are using and we dealing with the valid fire.
to be honest, I enjoy a lot to using this, uh, the, the Flutter triple on my projects too, because it's very easy to understand. And we have the ideas of um, when you need to have a state for a page, you need to have, you, if you need to change the state of the page, you need to have only the, the triple for that page. And if I have a small button that I need to change the state inside, so can be interesting to have a little small piece of the same of the triple. And yeah, that's it. It's very simple to use and it's not difficult to be honest. It's not difficult to be honest. And yeah, the only difference here is the, the second difference um, between block and triple is that we are not using the events. The, for example, the event inside my home store will be the increment, right? And that will be update my value. That will be an in integer in that case. And set loading and set error that you can see here. And yeah, that's it. This is a small tip to, to understand better about different uh, state management and how sometimes we are in the true at the end, always we are using strings or you are using valid fire. That's it. So thanks again and subscribe to the channel.